Number 10. Tamra Maiochi. In June of 2018, a Brazilian football supporter died in a freak fall while celebrating her national team's victory in the knockout stages of the World Cup. 30-year-old Tamra Maiochi had been watching the match with her friends at a house in Itatiba in the southeastern state of Sao Paulo. As the referee blew the final whistle, Maiochi got up from a sofa with her cell phone in one hand and a crystal wine glass in the other. She wanted to join the rest of her group in the celebration but suddenly tripped. The woman reached out to a coffee table in an attempt to stop herself from falling but slipped and impaled her neck on the wine glass. It shattered and a shard cut deep into Maiochi's neck, severing her jugular vein. Blood started pouring profusely from the open wound and her panic-stricken friends struggled to stop the bleeding by wrapping towels around her neck and applying pressure. Unfortunately, by the time emergency services arrived at the scene, Maiochi had already passed away. An inquiry was planned, but as stated by local authorities, there were no signs of foul play. Number 9. Irena Milosevic Irena Milosevic passed away in December of 2019, following an accident that occurred at a parent's home in Serbia. 30-year-old Milosevic had told her family that she was going to take a shower. The woman's parents, Vesela and Nabosia, got worried as she'd been in the bathroom for over an hour. They knocked on the door and, upon receiving no reply, entered the bathroom to find their daughter unconscious on the floor. They called the emergency services and paramedics arrived at the residence but, unfortunately, could do nothing more aside from confirming that Milosevic was dead. Local police investigated the matter and concluded that a large amount of steam had caused the bathroom tiles to become slippery. Milosevic lost her balance as she stepped on the surface, fell and broke her neck. Number 8. Yulia Sharkham In August of 2019, a young mother from Belarus was killed under circumstances directly involving her infant daughter on the day that she was celebrating her 21st birthday. Yulia Sharkham and her family were at a friend's house in the village of Starosello on August the 31st. She was placing her two-year-old in a BMW E34 through a half-open front seat window. The child then pressed the automatic switch, closing the window on her mother's neck, thereby effectively garroting her. Sharkham's husband found her unconscious with her head still trapped inside the vehicle. He broke the jammed window and released her. An ambulance traveled to the location and transported Sharkham to a hospital. Due to pressure applied by the window on her neck, the woman's brain was critically deprived of oxygen. Sharkham suffered irreversible brain damage and died eight days after the tragic accident. Number 7. Jao Maria de Souza A Brazilian man died following an accident involving a falling cow in July of 2013 in Caratinga, a town of the Minas Gerais region which is traditionally known for raising cattle. Jao Maria de Souza, aged 45, was lying in bed while a cow was grazing on a hill behind his house. The animal, tipping the scale at about a ton and a half, then stepped on the asbestos roof of de Souza's home. It collapsed under its weight and the cow fell on de Souza, inflicting severe internal injuries. According to his relatives, the man had appeared to be in good condition, but it took too long for him to be examined by a doctor. The day after the incident, he passed away due to internal bleeding. While unusual, it had been the third such incident to take place in the region in recent years. The other two cases, however, yielded no casualties, only one close call. As a cow had fallen through the roof of a home, it landed right next to the spot where a baby and a small child were sleeping, with many hence describing their survival as miraculous. Number 6. Jennifer Reardon On April the 17th of 2018, Albuquerque bank executive Jennifer Reardon became the first person to die in an accident on a U.S. airline in nearly a decade. 43-year-old Reardon was sitting with her seatbelt fastened as Southwest Flight 1380 was at a cruising altitude of an estimated 32,000 feet. Suddenly, a fan blade broke off inside the left engine of the Boeing 737 and shrapnel was hurled against the side of the aircraft. The fast-moving flow of debris shattered Reardon's window, resulting in her being sucked halfway out of the plane. Over the course of the next 17 minutes, other passengers scrambled to pull the woman back inside while the pilots initiated an emergency landing. The passengers managed to retrieve Reardon, but she'd already suffered critical injuries and ultimately passed away from blunt force trauma. She was survived by her high school sweetheart husband and two children. Number 5. Dead from Laughter 
While extremely rare, dying from laughter has stricken several unlucky people throughout history, dating back to ancient times. Their demise was typically a consequence of asphyxiation or cardiac arrest. Greek Stoic philosopher Chrysippus is among the earliest reports of such an occurrence and he's commonly known as the man who died laughing at his own joke. In the early 200s BC, at the time of the 143rd Olympiad, he saw a donkey eating his figs and then jokingly told a servant to give the animals some wine to wash them down. 73-year-old Chrysippus then died in a fit of laughter. On October the 14th of 1920, dog trainer Arthur Cobcroft was at his home in Leichhardt, Australia and reading a newspaper from five years earlier. Amused at the difference in price for some commodities, the 56-year-old made a remark to his wife and then erupted in laughter. He suddenly collapsed during the fit and died with the doctor that examined him, concluding that he'd succumbed to heart failure, brought about by excessive laughter. In the late 1980s, Danish audiologist Olli Benson, aged 56, was watching the initial run of A Fish Called Wonder. He reportedly found a scene so humorous that he'd laughed himself to death. Number 4. Sakan da Sova In the spring of 2009, a woman from Kazakhstan, reported as being the world's oldest person, passed away following an accident in a new apartment that the local government had gifted her. A census in the city of Karaganda revealed that one of its citizens, Sakan da Sova, was 130 years old. According to official documents and her identity card, da Sova had been born in 1879. To put her extraordinary longevity into perspective, the woman was born at the same time that Thomas Edison introduced the light bulb to the world. She was 47 when Joseph Stalin first conducted a census in the region and already retirement aged at the dawn of World War II. When interviewed by local media outlets, De Sova stated that she didn't have a secret for her staggering senectitude, but did mention that she'd never taken pills or eaten sweets. Some sources have claimed that her record-breaking age might have been exaggerated and the result of poor record keeping. The doubts were never dispelled, even though local demographers maintained the documentary evidence was genuine. Nevertheless, it was clear that De Sova belonged to an exclusive group of super centenarians, people who lived to be 110 or beyond. As more media outlets became interested in De Sova's story, Kazakhstan officials wanted to avoid negative publicity as she was living in impoverished, overcrowded conditions with a number of family members. She was personally congratulated by the mayor of Karaganda and given an apartment. In April of 2009, De Sova slipped in the bathroom of her new place and suffered a broken hip. Her condition gradually got worse and she ultimately passed away in early May. Number 3. Sergio Milan In January of 2020, a massive explosion occurred at a petrochemical plant in the Spanish city of Tarragona, about 50 miles south of Barcelona. It's believed that the blast originated in a reactor used to produce ethylene oxide, which is part of the composition of varied products, including detergents. Firefighters found the lifeless body of an IQOXE plant worker among the debris. Eight other employees were hurt, two of whom suffered life-threatening burns. Another tragic demise associated with the explosion occurred roughly two miles away on the outskirts of the city. The extraordinary force of the blast launched a metal fragment weighing about a ton across that entire distance. It struck the side of a building and landed on the floor of an apartment above the one inhabited by 59-year-old shopkeeper Sergio Milan. His ceiling collapsed on top of him as the weight and momentum of the fragment above had resulted in a complete structural failure. The unfortunate circumstances of his death were corroborated by Tarragona Mayor Paul Ricoma, who also expressed his condolences to Milan's family. Today's topic was requested by J. Lowe. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Elizabeth Isherwood In September of 2017, Elizabeth Isherwood from Wolverhampton, England, was renting a villa near McKinleth, Western Wales. The 60-year-old former police officer was alone at the property. On September the 24th, she was returning from the bathroom at night. Isherwood entered an earring cupboard. The door handle then broke behind her as the round part of the knob had come off the internal mechanism. Isherwood was trapped in the cupboard, naked, cold, and in complete darkness. 
She removed some shelves and then began clawing her way through a wall. She reached the copper piping and ripped a piece off, which she used to continue her digging. Unfortunately, in doing so, she burst a pipe, causing cold water to pour on her body, which only accelerated the hypothermia to which she ultimately succumbed. Isherwood was inches from freedom as she'd managed to pierce through to the other side of the wall, but had failed to realize it because a picture covered the exit hole. Her lifeless body was discovered in late September by caretakers investigating a leak at the property. It's unclear why Isherwood had entered the cupboard in the first place. A coroner recorded a verdict of misadventure, attributing her death to the sheer bad luck of the knob disintegrating while she was inside. Number 1. Vladimir Likonis In December of 2009, Vladimir Likonis, aged 25, was at his parents' home in the city of Konotop, northern Ukraine. Relatives then heard what was described as a loud pop. Coming from Likona's room, his brother, Rostislav, went to check on him and found a gruesome sight as Likonis, still reclined in his chair, was covered in blood. Half of his face was horrifically disfigured and his lower jaw was missing. Paramedics were called to the scene, but Likona succumbed to his extensive injuries. The preliminary stages of the investigation seemed to indicate that the young man had taken his own life, but there were no firearms found on the premises. It later emerged that his death had occurred due to a combination of bad luck and his love of chemistry. He had studied the discipline for several years at Kiev Tech University and was known as a prodigious student. On his computer table, the authorities found a saucer with powdered citric acid as well as another bag with a white powder. The latter was collected by forensic experts who determined it had explosive properties and was likely used by Laconis in various experiments. He also had a habit of chewing gum and dipping it in citric acid. It's believed that at some point he got too distracted and accidentally dipped his gum in the explosive powder instead. Laconis's saliva activated it, triggering the blast that destroyed half his face. As stated by police spokeswoman Elvira Biganova, the two powders were so similar that anybody could have mixed them up. Thanks for watching. Would you go on an all expense paid luxury cruise around the world knowing there was a 50% chance the ship would sink? Let us know in the comments section below.